Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing everything that you guys do. Never goes unnoticed. Uh, we really do appreciate. Hope you guys are doing right and may you stay blessed. Please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. Just give me the name or the link down below and I'll be sure to check it out. So today, I'm going to be reacting to Dr. Zaki Naik answered Christian about the ruling of divorce by Jesus. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Click to subscribe Believing Beings and press the bell icon to get notified about new videos. My name is Carolina and I am a nurse. I study a lot differences between Islam and Christianity. And I have, I have lots of questions, but the main question I have at the moment, you said that Islam accepts Jesus as a messenger of God. And uh, Jesus, when was asked about divorce, if the man can divorce a woman, he said that Moses gave, us, gave the permission to divorce a woman only because of the hardness of the heart of the people. But Jesus said that a man cannot divorce a woman. A man should leave the father and the mother and join the woman and they became one, one spirit in two bodies. So this for me is difference between what we believe, what I believe as a Christian, and what you believe as a Muslim people. Sister asked a question. She said the main difference is what she's quoting is a verse from the Bible from Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 5, verse yes. number 27 and 28. That's correct. And, and I'm giving you the quotation. What you said, sister, is in your own words, which is not verbatim. Yeah, what Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, it's in red letter. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 27, verse number 28, it has said of the old times that thou shalt give a bill of divorce. But I say unto you, whosoever looketh upon a woman, that it was an old time that thou shalt give a bill of divorce. But I say unto you that that whosoever looketh upon woman to lust after has already committed adultery in his heart. The two verses that thou shalt give a bill of divorce. But I say unto you that whoever whoever sleepeth with another woman shall give divorce. That means of the old law, sister, at the time of Moses, it was said that if you want to give divorce, give a bill of divorce. That's it. But Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says that you shall not give bill of divorce until your wife sleep with somebody else. That means previously, at the time of Moses, divorce was allowed. To give a divorce, you give a bill of divorce. Now Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, a messenger of God, comes and changes the law. And he says that thou shall not give a bill of divorce unless, unless your wife sleep with somebody else. So there is a change. In Islam, it is different. In Islam, sister, our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that amongst the permissible things which is the most hateful in the sight of God is divorce. Permissible, but the most hateful. That means in Islam, you can give divorce when required, when both husband and wife are not compatible. It does not mean that if the wife is bad, then you can give divorce, or if the husband is bad, then only can you give divorce. Maybe both are good, but they are not compatible. And we have many such examples. They were companions of the Prophet, male companions and female companions. We have the example of uh, Zayd, may Allah be pleased with him. Along with another companion, a lady companion, Zainab, may Allah be pleased with her. They were married, they both were good, they were not compatible. You can divorce. Or can be one is not good. Wife is not good. Husband can divorce. Husband is, is not good. The wife can take divorce, can give kula. So in Islam, it is not like the times of Moses, give a bill of divorce, khalas, easy. Or at the time of Jesus, peace be upon him, you cannot give divorce until your wife does fornication. In Islam, we have to weigh the pros and cons. And based on that, Based on that, so Islam, the last and final messenger came and said divorce is permissible but as a last resort. 
and how to give divorce, the details are given. So that is the difference between the teachings of Moses, the teachings of Jesus, peace be upon him, and the teachings of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Hold that, throw some light on the differences. Okay, thank you. So do you agree with me that marriage in Christianity and marriage in Islam is different? There are different rules? Yes, there are different rules. There are different rules, but which rule is better, sister? I I'm asking you a question. In, 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 in the time of Moses, anyone can get divorced. Khalas, good, bad, ugly. In, in Christianity, only if your wife is caught fornicating, you can give. In Islam, if you're incompatible, you can give. If they are not good, you can give. Not just like that. It is permissible, but the most hateful in the sight of Allah. Which would you prefer, sister? I prefer my religion and be with one man until the end of my life. Okay, if the husband comes and hits you every day, he drinks alcohol, hits you every day, blue and black, your eyes turn black every day, would you like to stay with him? We can be separate, but we cannot get married again. That's different. Well, I'm asking you a question. Wouldn't you like to find some other life partner? <laughs> we are not allowed. If you made a mistake. No, you are not. I'm not asking whether you're allowed or not. Which is preferable for a human being? In Islam, if you make a mistake in choosing a wrong partner, I think I've got for my sister very good person. I think he's very good. But after marriage, he hits her, he gambles, he drinks alcohol, black and blue. I would say separate. I'll give him chance, try reconciliation, separate. She can marry in, she can marry in the woman. What was her fault? What was her fault, tell me? Why should my sister suffer? What type of religion is this? This is hard religion. To Not be, hard religion. This, Not my religion is hard. hard religion, which is a logical religion. And today, today, but natural, we have to have husband and wife. They have to be. Correct? Medically, you should get married. Otherwise, if you separate, what happens in America? You know what happens in America? In America, according to statistics, every person, man and woman, they have eight different sexual partners before they settle down with them. The statistic does not say how many they have after they get married. Eight! Some have five, some have ten, some have twenty. It is human nature. So now if you say you'll separate, what will you do? So that is the reason Islam prevents the woman from going on the wrong track or the man from going on the wrong track. Divorce, marry again. What is wrong? If you make a mistake. It's so easy. It's so easy. Sorry? It's so easy. It's easy. It's easy. Not easy, it's a test. You know, it's a test. for us what, it's a test what for all fault, life. Sister, what fault is it of yours if your husband, I mean your husband may be very good, Hope I'm just giving a hypothetical example. That if he does not treat you well, if he treats you, if he hits you black and white, and yet you want to be his wife, what is the logic? What time of religion is this? Isn't it illogical? This is the religion of love. Love? He's hitting you. What love? It's him that I will be with him until the end but of you're not, his life. But you want to separate. You're not with him also. I can pray for him. I can pray, you can pray and even, ask God you to can, change the heart of this pray, man. You can even pray after marrying someone else. You can't pray. But in I want to religion. pray for my husband. Oh, you can pray for your husband and your ex-husband also. In Islam, you can do that. We, pray all, pray. we all pray for my dad and he changed. After 30 years of being alcoholic, he changed. May Allah gave him hidayah, correct? And my mom never gave up until he died. Very good. 30 years we all pray. Very good. And it wasn't easy. She, she might say, no, I want to marry somebody else. But do you mean to say if you marry, you cannot pray for your ex-husband? Well, what kind of a religion is this? It's not a religion of love. In us, we can pray for a thousand people. Religion of love. I wish, I wish all Muslims pray for ex-wives and ex-husbands. Why not? I wish. I have only one wife, mashallah. She's good. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you, sir. The most welcome. that she belonged to is it Christianity because I think Christians divorce you know if something happens Christians are divorcing but um, um, 
forget all these religion questions, Christianity, Islam, whatever it is. Let's go back to the example of Dr. Zaki Naik gave her. Someone is beating you up every day. They change after you marry them. And she kept on saying that she'll pray for the guy. She doesn't want to give up. I mean, not wanting to give up on a marriage that you've worked so hard to achieve is understandable. But when someone hits you, that's a different situation. Better, it's financial problems you guys are facing in your relationship. Better, it's um, anything but someone hitting you. Anything than someone trying to... I, I don't even know. Hitting someone is just... It's just a whole different thing. And we women should love, should love ourselves more. Don't sit down and say, this man is going to change, he's going to stop hitting me. No. This man won't touch a hair on me next time. If I do what he wants, no. He'll still do something to you. Um, I think we should raise daughters specifically to know what love is, to know how a man should treat them. Also, when we're at the relationship level where we're just dating, let's not ignore red flags. This person was beating you before you got into the relationship. Don't ever think they'll change once they settle down with you by marrying you. No, they don't, you know. But that's what I'm saying. Back to what you were saying about religion and its stuff, you just have to pray. Sometimes mind how you pray i want to say tell god that the partner that you have treats you well the partner that you have understands you you know welcomes you you're able to have a conversation with it doesn't go beyond that it doesn't get ugly in your relationship there's no abuse there's no nothing you know a kind-hearted partner you find yourself marrying someone you never want to marry because you want to stick to one person which is a very good thing you know let me know what you guys actually think about this video what are your thoughts on what she asked if there's anything you want me to react to let me know down below give me the name or the link and i'll be sure to check it out make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it to your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you next time